kept you waiting, huh? What's up you guys, welcome to The Collective. My name is Furman and in this video we are going to be talking about none other than that state of play that we just had. That thing was absolute insanity. I mean, oh my goodness. It was so good that I actually had a different video planned for today, but because it was so good, I needed to make a video about this thing. I needed to talk about it and I needed to let you guys know what I think about it. But before we get started, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more awesome content just like this. All right, guys, let's get into it. So I think it is pretty fair to say that Sony's state of plays have been kind of wonky the last few years. I'm not even gonna lie. They haven't really been super exciting. I haven't been excited about it. They've come out with some decent ones, but nothing that like blew the waters. You know what I mean? Nothing that is in a Nintendo Direct territory. So when they came out swinging with this insane, this insane live stream of like just non-stop trailers and videos for stuff that we're getting this year and stuff that's coming out next year. I was like, bro, what? What? This is insane. So yeah, there was a lot of stuff that they showed off, but I'm basically just gonna talk about the stuff that just absolutely drove me crazy from start to finish, all right? So let's go. The very first one that blew me out of the water was this game called Phantom Blade. This thing looked absolutely gorgeous. I mean, it was giving me like Sekiro and Ghost of Tsushima vibes. I mean, I was absolutely loving it. They had this scene with a guy with a bunch of crazy masks on. And I mean, I was like, whoa, this dude looks insane. And on top of that, you can dual wield. Like the main character had two blades. This looks just insane. And I cannot wait to be able to pick this bad boy up. Then after that, one of the indie games that actually kind of excited me a little bit was this one called Sword of the Sea. Now I know it sounds a little bit weird, but when I saw this game it really reminded me of that one indie title from the PS3 era called Journey. And I believe it's on the PS4 too, so um, it's got kind of those, you know, like just really clean like indie game vibes going for it. Uh, looks awesome. I mean, you're basically like skateboarding on a sword. That's what it looks like. So, I mean, that's... You had me at skateboarding at sold. You what? You had me at skateboarding at a sword. I mean, what more can you ask for? Seriously. Then after that, another one of those games where it's just a lot of fun, you know, it's just something you just pop into your console and just play it, and it's just a lot of fun. Cat's Quest is getting another game, and it looks like it's gonna be a little swashbuckling, because it's pirate themed. And like, I know it sounds crazy, and I know it sounds goofy, but hear me out. The, game, the way this game looks, looks amazing, and it looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun. So definitely another one that's really exciting, if you, ex if you ask me at least. Now, you know, I'm over here watching, and I was actually watching this at work, and I absolutely, when I tell you I lost my mind, I am not over exaggerating, guys. I absolutely went crazy. Sony decided to give us this weird type of trailer where it like it's like it reminded me of uh, It reminded me of that fable trailer that the Xbox showcased uh, a few years back Where you know it showed a bunch of creatures and like a little thing or whatever And that's basically what's happening here. It showed a, like a, a frog that got a tree frog that got picked up by a bird and then they almost got eaten by alligators and alligators were fighting with a snake and then it shows freaking big boss yes that's right big boss and then literally bomb 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 i mean you already knew they were playing the snake eater theme song check it out Yeah, so that absolutely drove me wild, insane, like I was going crazy, I could not believe it. Metal Gear Solid Snake Eater Delta is what I believe the name is. It's not a triangle, it's a delta. So yeah, more on that at a later date, and honestly, I am speechless. I still can't believe this actually happened. This is absolutely insane. 
And then to make matters worse, they're just gonna drop the M Metal Gear Solid collection. Like literally right after that trailer, they're bringing all the games to the modern consoles. Thank you, Jesus. Because I have been missing Metal Gear Solid. And by I say, and when I say missing, I don't mean very missing very much. I've actually been playing it on the GameCube. But that's beside the point. We need some of these whippersnappers to play some of these sick old games. We need it to happen. Alright, so then after that, they showed us some gameplay for Alan Wake 2. This was actually pretty exciting. I never got a chance to play the first one, but basically everyone that's talked about the first one... I mean, they hold it in the highest regard, so this game looks really exciting, and I'm, I can't wait to pick this up, or at least try a demo. Um, it honestly reminds me a lot of, like, Resident Evil games, and, you know, I have become kind of a Resident Evil super fan as of the last few years, so yeah, I'm really excited to play this guy. Then after that, one game that I have been sick and tired of for the last, what, 10, 15 years probably? Assassin's Creed. They are taking it back to the old school Assassin's Creed feel. So, you have that, like, I mean, the character almost looks like Altair or Ezio, which is like so sick, because those were actually my favorite ones. I played the whole Ezio trilogy, and I mean, it almost had me speaking Italian. That's how good those games were. So, it's exciting to see them go back to the new form fact, to the old four factor, and you know, bring back what the fans have been asking for for years. Not to say these last ones weren't very good, because I actually did play Valhalla, and, and it's, it's a good game. But uh, does it feel like Assassin's Creed? Not so much. Not so much. All right, guys, now I know this might throw you for a loop because, you know, I, I mean, I love playing Destiny, but Destiny is just not something that grows or shows. It's not something that excites you. It's the same old, same old. It's basically a DLC pack every year, blah, 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 same thing. Cade 6 is back. Cade 6 is back. They done took this man away from us. They killed him. And then they're going to bring him back. And I am grateful that they brought him back. But they shouldn't have even taken him away from us. Do you understand me? I'm actually excited for this. I'm actually going to buy this one. Yay. And then. And then. Guys, if you guys have been watching my channel for the last year or two, you already know that this guy right here, we have been needing another one for a while. And I've been saying it. It's the perfect time for them to do it. It is the, it is the perfect time. Not just because of the Nintendo Switch. Yes, that's the primary reason. But it's also because it just makes sense. I mean, we see like every other month, we always see a new console coming out where it's a new emulator system or it's a Wi-Fi PC or, you know, it's something like that. Something like that is always coming out. Ever since the Steam Deck came out, the copycats have run rampant. So it's been going crazy. And now it's finally happening. The thing looks kind of weird, I'm not going to lie. It looks like they just really cut a dual sense in half and attached it to an 8-inch eight screen, which, by the way, 8 inches is a little bit bigger than, this, than the Switch OLED right now. So, hey, that's awesome. But, yeah, I'm like, I'm so excited for this, but I, at the same time, I am extremely worried because of the fact that they said it's going to be Wi-Fi. So, essentially, they're going back to the mistake that they made with the PS Vita because they were really pushing that remote play. Remember that? And yeah, it didn't work that well, and I'm pretty sure it's gonna work now, but that's not what we want. No. We want a full-fledged part two of the PSP. That's what we want. We know you're not gonna go the Nintendo route and just make it completely portable, so don't even bother. I just want to be able to play my old games. I want to be able to play my library of games that I own on the PlayStation on that thing. 
is that so much to ask for so yes i am extremely excited about this thing but at the same time i am super worried and i really 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 hope that when they do announce this thing it's not just a stream machine please sony i'm begging you don't mess this thing up sony don't mess this thing up sony please for the love of god do not mess this thing up sony all right so they showed all this good awesome stuff and then to put the cherry on top metaphorically speaking they gave us 12 minutes of spider-man 2 and i'm telling you right now chef's kiss when i tell you i am so excited for this game i am not making pretend i am not over exaggerating I'm not even lying to you. I am so excited for this game right now that I want to jump. I'm not going to, but I want to. This game looks so good. The fact that the symbiote or symbiote, however you want to spell that, suit is making Spider-Man so like edgy and angry. Oh, it's so good. He sounds amazing when he's talking. And Miles is like, hey, uh, Peter Parker, are you okay? You don't sound good, bro. Do you see Tylenol? Yeah. The fact that you can switch back and forth, like, oh, th this game is going to, I mean, Breath, no, not Breath, uh, Tears of the Kingdom is still game of the year in my opinion. Nothing is going to change that. But when I saw this trailer, I got a little sweaty. I got a little worried because this game looks incredible. <sighs> Final Fantasy 16 is probably going to be awesome too. And they did show that, but I didn't talk about it in this video just because, I mean, you know, it's coming out next month. So not really much more they can say about it. Uh, but yeah, I am absolutely ecstatic. I mean... And then to make matters worse, literally a few weeks ago, Microsoft just admitted defeat. They said that they lost the, the console war. And Sony's like, oh, you lost? Uh, well, let me slam dunk on it and make things worse. That's pretty much what they did. Yeah. So this was an eventful event. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. As always, guys, I always want to hear your feedback. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to share. And don't forget to comment. But most importantly, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more awesome content just like this. And let me know what you thought. Let me know what was your favorite part of it. All right, guys. We will see you guys on the next video. Peace. I got my new ASMR microphone so we can talk like this now. Enjoy yourself.